Good afternoon, folks. This is Naim Asam, Chief Analyst for Evertrade, live from Dubai. And I wanted to apologize for any noise at the back because we are at the conference in Dubai. And if you happen to be here, please do come and visit us at the IFX Expo. Now, to the main and most important part, which is what is going on with Russia and Ukraine, the situation, how Russia has attacked Ukraine. The markets are in absolutely big turmoil. Where are the opportunities? What we should be really looking at? And uh, could there be an opportunity here? Before we do anything else, it is important for me to go through this brief disclaimer. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with your own account managers who would be in a position to answer your questions. Now I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform and we're going to look at all the instruments which are moving on the back of these particular uh, news. So basically, in terms of fundamentals, Russia has invaded Ukraine and now there's going to be a very strong reaction from the US and its allies in terms of sanctions. Market players are just not sure what kind of a sanctions we will see and how the reaction is going to be on the global economy. Hence, this particular uncertainty is creating a big sell-off in the market. The, what, the, the, the chart which is right in front of you, this is your US Tech 100 uh, or also known as NASDAQ. And the weekly chart indicates to us that the prices are touching an important level of support, which is your 100-week moving average. Now, there is a big probability that the price may actually bounce from this particular area because the RSI on the weekly time frame has reached a level of 30 which is associated with oversold and the last time we had readings close enough to that was back in January 2020 and we know what happened after that the big sort of a bit uh, rally really took place. Now, when it comes to the Dow Jones Industrial Average on the weekly time frame, what it tells us that, yes, the prices are trading below the 50-week moving average. This is your 200, but they are still above the 100-week simple moving average. RSI is once again near its oversold uh, area, but nowhere close enough to where that 14 was or where this really happened, that intense sell-off. So this S&P 500 is telling me that yes, despite the fact that the s and uh, the, the US Tech 100 index is indicating a, in, is indicating to us that we could possibly see a bounce back in the market, but the S&P, but the Dow Jones Industrial is not backing that argument. It is telling us that there could be still a bit more room left for this particular sell-off, so we could see another week of a massive turmoil continuing in the market, which could very much be, uh, be taking place. Why? Because the invasion has only started in Russia. So it is going to take time for things to die out uh, or to at least a bit of an easing off on that perspective. Now, the last one that we kind of wanted to look at is your S&P 500 index. This is your broader market, the broader sentiment, what everyone is really thinking about. Of course, the sell-off is extremely intense today. As you can see from the chart, the price is trading below its 50-week simple moving average. It is approaching an important area of support. But just like the other two indices, the RSI is near 30, but nowhere close enough to those extreme levels that again kind of telling us that this sell-off has a little bit more room to go, maybe one more week of intense sell-off to take place. Now, of course, the situation is completely different when it comes to gold prices, because when we look at gold prices, a massive move from 1915 to 1963, one of the big moves are really happening over here. Now, in terms of the resistance zone for gold prices, we are looking at this particular level of 1988, something that we haven't seen back in May 2020. So it's really the high of these particular candles which are in focus. So still a little bit more room to go in terms of gold price. Now, as for oil or Brent oil, shall we say, 
the, what we are really looking at is that yes prices are in a massive spiral in a massive upward trend but the resistance the actual resistance is really this at this particular point which is from 101 to 103 remember this is a contract for a, for, uh, for next month so this is not the current month's contract the current month's contract is already trading above 105 or so so just to keep in that mind uh keep that in mind and also the rsi is showing us that prices are oversold and likely to see a retracement very very soon now with respect to the safe haven assets speaking of safe haven one last thing that we wanted to cover is bitcoin bitcoin prices are approaching to the earlier lows that we saw this year and that is back in january we are not really touching the low right over here the price may retest this particular level of 28 or 32 again this particular price level was formed back in july 2021 when the sell-off happened this is the low for this year and then that is where the prices can come and then they can revisit that keep an eye on that we'll be back with more analysis thank you